Hello YouTube, uh, US Minute Man here again, and I wanted to do kind of a, a review on my holster here. This is a DeSantis leather holster for my MMP9C. Um, it was the first one that was molded to this gun that I saw, so I decided to pick it up. I needed a holster, um, and I just looked for a better holster if I didn't like it later but I just wanted a holster. When I first bought this holster, it was leather, you know. It was it was pretty stiff. Uh, and I didn't particularly like it. I didn't think I would like it so much, but I was like, all right, I got a holster, so I can carry it around. And it was really tight, and when I would, when I would uh, practice, you know, take the mag out, I did, che I did safety check the the chamber uh, before this video. Uh, for any of you that may give me a hard time, I did check it. Uh, it was very, 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 very stiff on the gun. And I know that it's a leather and it breaks in, but I've never had uh, experience with leather holsters, so I only had a little cheapy um, airsoft holster for my 1911. I still need to get a fitted one for my 1911. And a Black Hawk um, Serpa for my FNS-40. So, um, as I used it, and I would pull it, and it would get stuck, and it would pull up on my leather belt. I need a better leather belt, uh, a thicker one, so, you know, a better uh, a support system, but it would pull it up quite a bit, and and I realized I have to kind of yank it, yank it pretty hard to get it out. So I was like, all right, so I looked online, looked on forums, and everyone says, you know, leather needs to be broken in. And I was just like, oh, all right. I tried that, and then I contemplated using leather, mink oil, or leather, other leather softening oils. And, you know, a lot of people were saying, no, it ruins it, you know, you lose your attention on all that stuff. So, decided against it, and we'll see how it happens. So I wore it for a week. And uh, now, it's pretty, I can pull it out with two fingers, but it's still got retention but uh, it's definitely broken in now so I like it I do like it quite a bit um, at some point I'll probably still get other holsters but uh, I definitely will get leather holsters again because I do like them it just I realize now that break-in periods actually are needed and you know they are great holsters afterwards so as far as the DeSantis this DeSantis holder uh, goes you know, it's good leather. I think it's cowhide. I'm not 100% sure. Um, made in the U.S. It's got two or three little loops here. One so if you have a belt and you want it upright. And if you want to cant it forward like that. So, uh, you can wear it however you uh, have it, when it if you want it angled on your belt or not. I, 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 I wear it canted personally. <clears throat> uh, it comes with a little tension screw right here. It just I think it just pinches the, the the trigger guard a little bit harder, so you can adjust your tension. I have it all the way out. Um, as it breaks in more, I might you know tent, tighten tighten it uh, a little bit more. But uh, you know we'll see how that goes as I wear it more. So I've only had this for like two weeks now, two or three weeks. Uh, less than three, probably two and a half weeks. Um, <clears throat> so I'm so as this gets softer and I, as I wear it, especially during the summer months here, um, <clears throat> we'll see if it gets too soft, and then I'll just try to, you know, just adjust the tension and see how that works. But so far, I like it. I like the leather holster. Um, I would definitely do it again. I'm still gonna look into probably getting either a Black Hawk or some like a, a hybrid uh, holster to compare it to this and then find out what styles I like. Because um, I really like the Blackhawk Serpa that I have, the Concealed Serpa, um, for my FNS-40. Um, I really like that. So we'll see. We'll see what I, what I end up liking as I get more holsters and uh, things like that. But uh, the DeSantis 
another holster for the MMP9C. Definitely a good buy, definitely needs a break-in period, but a good buy. I would definitely recommend it. U.S. Minimum sign-off.